So a group of Christians had a hankering for a Subway sandwich the other day, so they dropped by the franchise in Wanakee, Wisconsin. But the men were denied service because of the Christian message on their T-shirts. Now, one of the guys was so shocked, he couldn't believe it was happening, so he pulled out his phone and he videotaped everything. And sure enough, the staffer literally said she was denying service because of the message on their T-shirts. Okay, and this is Subway where? Because of my T-shirt? Because of my T-shirt? Okay. I'm sure Subway Corp would love to hear that. Now, I wish I could tell you I'm surprised by this sort of thing, but it really is becoming commonplace in America now. If, if a member, let's say, of the alphabet community had gone to a local bakery and they said, you've got to make a wedding cake for our same-sex uh, wedding, and the baker said, nope, can't do that, it's a violation of my religious beliefs, well, that would become a national news story. The government would step in. They would bring the baker up on charges. Lawsuits would be filed. And we know this because it's happening all the time. Well, maybe it's time for Christians to start playing hardball with these companies that discriminate against people of faith. I mean, after you turn the other cheek, I'd say it's time for the gloves to come off. All right, folks, I want to encourage you to head over to my website. We have so many great free products for you there. Uh, the Todd Starn Show podcast, our free newsletter, and you can also buy some awesome swag as well over in the Todd Starn store, including my latest book. It's called Twilight's Last Gleaming, Can America Be Safe? Be good, America.